Um, this is something I lear learned in New Orleans. So I lived in New Orleans, um, I don't know if you guys watched Treme, but I moved to New Orleans at the end of season one and all of season two. Um, so that was about nine months after Hurricane Katrina. And around that time, it was the most fascinating time I think I've ever had in my entire life because um, while the majority of people are moving out of New Orleans, there's a huge group of people that are moving into New Orleans that are really passionate about rebuilding the city in any way they could. And a lot of these people were in the nonprofit world, um, and the other half were entrepreneurs. And by, uh, my roommate at the time was a principal of a charter school, and their mission was, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but New Orleans the, still to this day has an 80% high school dropout rate. So when you're in kindergarten, if you look, you know, if you had a 10-person class, eight of the students would drop out by the time you leave high school. Um, and by living with this guy for a year, I just saw all the, up, you know, and, and I, I, I became so ingrained into the school, I ended up volunteering there as well. Um, I just saw all the ups and downs, and no matter what the down was, he was so focused on making sure that these kids got an education that they would graduate from high school and eventually go to college. It, whatever problem got thrown their way, it was, it was just like he had a bulldozer and they're just plowing through it no matter what. Um, and that's the best way I could explain that sustaining that passion is um, there are probably a thousand times that um, you know you just want to quit. Um, it's you know you know running a startup or working a startup or trying to become the best basketball player in the world or trying to break 9.8 seconds in the 100 meters. You know it's a lot of work, and I think if you stay passionate about it, it helps you just plow through all those little um, obstacles that get thrown your way. And that's how I kind of view Skillshare as well. Um, I'm personally, and I think everyone in our company and everyone in our team is so passionate about education and, and um, having that be their legacy, that no matter what obstacle gets thrown our way, we'll overcome it. And if we don't, um, it's really not a big deal at the end of the day. Yeah.